God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us this week. We are Abundant Grace Church. I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title this week is Forgive and Forget. I will be reading from the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 13. Be tolerant with one another and forgive one another. Whenever any of you has a complaint against someone else, you must forgive one another just as the Lord has forgiven you. Beloved, even as Christians, we have a problem tolerating and forgiving one another. We should all attempt to be the image of Christ when it comes to forgiveness. He forgave those who crucified him and is constantly forgiving us for our sins when we ask with a sincere heart and spirit. Building a successful relationship with others calls for focusing on the other person's strengths instead of their weaknesses. In relationship to marriage, we are to keep our eyes wide open beforehand and half shut afterwards. It is a mistake to rush into a lifetime relationship without taking time to get to know the other person. Without due diligence on the front end, you are sure to have problems on the back end. An important relationship principle lies in learning to forgive and forget. Seems impossible at times, doesn't it? Beloved, there is so much good in the worst of us and so much bad in the best of us that it hardly is to the advantage of any of us to talk about the rest of us. My beloved, forgetting can be harder when the offense is great. Some offenses can usually be forgiven quickly, but big ones involve a healing process. But until you decide to forgive and forget, the process cannot start. So as we look at Colossians 3, we can see that we as Christians are to be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient. And this is illustrated in verses 12 through 14. Put up with one another. Forgive anyone who does you wrong, just as Christ has forgiven you. Beloved, love is more important than anything, for it is what ties everything together. If you don't like something, change it, and also change your attitude. Don't complain. In other words, when it comes to facing facts you can't change, pray for grace and learn to live with others. Why do we need to forgive and forget? That is simple, because God said so. Beloved, You are not designed to carry the physical and mental stress that comes with harboring resentment. So my beloved, please let it go and forgive and forget as Jesus did. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, this relates to each and every one of us. We all have problems forgiving and forgetting. But Lord, you made it plain to us today that you forgave us and have forgotten our sins because of what your son Jesus Christ did for us. And we thank you for sending Jesus Christ to die in our place. Otherwise, we would all be condemned to the pit of hell. Thank you, Father God, for once again bringing to our memory that we are to forgive and forget. As hard as it may seem, it is not impossible. We pray this prayer in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, when Satan brings it back to your memory, forgive again and remember to forget it. Remember, Satan is a defeated foe. Christ defeated him on Calvary 2,000 years ago. Go on with your life. Don't look back and know that God has a special plan for your life. God bless you and have a wonderful week.